hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ayo Bablo and you're in my corner thanks for tuning in if it's your very first time welcome 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 and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for always coming back i'm glad that you always do if you are yet to subscribe please subscribe and also remember to share this video you know to people that you think that it should be helpful for um like this video drop a comment and all that good stuff also please turn on your notification so that you can know when i drop a new video so today i'm going to be doing the long awaited scholarship video yeah 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 i know i took so long i'm sorry about that but finally the siren can go finally i'm here with all the information all the details you're going to be needing for this scholarship let's jump right into it just a little background story for this old scholarship thing in one of my previous videos i already said that you know i made up my mind that by god's grace whether or not the scholarship came like i would proceed for my master's degree program and thank god it came and you know then i said i applied to so many schools and i was like trying to consider the scholarships um that came for it i checked for schools that are reputable and are quite affordable even if i didn't get you know any scholarship or if I just got like a little scholarship. Aside this 10,000 scholarship that finally came through, the highest I got was about 5,000. And for that school, I realized that even if I removed 5,000 from the total tuition fee, tuition fee for Teesside was still like less than that. So I realized that it would be better for me to just go to Teesside University because, you know, it was quite affordable and the payment plan was good for me, you know, in three installments and in seven installments. I just figured that it would be better to go with that because, you know, I could still like go on with paying my fees in installments even if the scholarship did not come through fast forward to when the confirmation mail came for the scholarship it was like the last week in august at this time i'd already like gotten my visa you know i was planning to buy my ticket because i think the the mail came in august 27 and i left nigeria september 2 for you to know how close it was before the result came out and i'm, I'm thankful that I eventually even chose to decide university because now like it's what it as regards the scholarship so you, for you to know how close it was, and I'm going to be discussing more about this in the video. I've just said all this for people that want to apply, so that you know how long it takes, you know what you're getting yourself into, and you're not like necessarily worried and all that. For you to know how close into the resumption this scholarship comes, because you must have made up your mind if you are coming for this, so that you don't miss out on other you know, scholarship opportunities if there are. So let's just go right into what this scholarship is all about. This scholarship is called the OFS Scholarship, Office for Student Scholarship. They sponsor underrepresented students to undertake you know, conversion programs in data science and artificial intelligence majorly. So you'll be wondering why conversion programs or what exactly are conversion programs. A conversion course is an intensive postgraduate program that allows one to undertake a career or to pursue a career in which one's undergraduate course or one's professional career has not prepared one for. Basically, what that means is that you're moving from one career path to another. Very different thing for your undergraduate degree and you want to convert into data science and artificial intelligence that is just what it means you do not have a background or you do not study anything related to that for your undergraduate degree or professional career if you have been working and you want to move into the data science and artificial intelligence space so this is what this body does they sponsor people to be able to undertake this conversion program in data science and artificial intelligence only there are other conversion programs there are conversion programs in various other fields but this body only sponsors students that, that wants to undertake conversion courses in data science and artificial intelligence. And you know, the juicy part is that it is worth £10,000. It is a lot of money. I'm not even going to lie to you. It is a lot of money. The good thing is that it is not just limited to my university alone. It is also available in many other universities in the UK. During my research, I saw that they give 1,000 applicants in a year. That's a lot. And my school only gets 15 or 18. So there are still like opportunities available in various other schools. And I'm going to be, you know, naming these schools shortly. It is in various places. It's not just limited to my school. In as much as you're undergoing a conversion program in data science and in artificial intelligence, you are good to go. What is the eligibility criteria and how is the selection process done? Just like every other application, they have their criteria and they give priority to black female disabled students. If you are in one or more of these categories, you are going to be prioritized. And then after this category, this scholarship is also available for this set of people, you know, people from polar quintile area, people in the UK, in which it is less likely for them to have a higher education. So with care experience, you know, a strange student, children of military families, gypsy Roma traveler students and refugees. After they have prioritized female black disabled students, then they will now 
consider all of these other people if you fall in this category but the OFS itself is not involved in this process this is your own university in which you're applying to that is responsible for the um, application process and the selection and all of that your school it will just present their candidates to the OFS board so you cannot apply on the OFS website or anything of such you have to apply through your school and more importantly you have to check out other criteria that your school has it is important because this one the, the ones i've just mentioned is peculiar to ofs then your school itself could have you know other things they want you to meet up my school teacher university then other criteria were laid down because i've received an offer you must have filled out an application for this ofs scholarship you must have met all your you know financial checks and you know visa you must have a valid visa and all of that then another thing is that you're going to have to write an essay just prove yourself in 200 words an essay of your career ambitions and how the masters and how this master's degree is going to help you achieve them you just apply you know give it a trial in as much as you take these conditions and you're able to write a great essay i think you're going to have a great chance at it so just give it a try even if you're a male student or whatever just give it a try even though they are giving priority to maybe black female students and all of those things are listed it is important that you still try it out during my own sets i think we were about 15 i don't know if i can remember we were about 15 and two two male students and maybe maybe the 13 of us were female students and more, two of them were even white it is not limited it is left to you to be able to you know, grab this opportunity and i'll advise if you're taking a conversion program in either data science or data um in either data science or in artificial intelligence just go for it in my own school the another thing is that they now limited it to just applied data science students and applied artificial intelligence students only so in my school there is data science and artificial intelligence then there is the applied data science and applied artificial intelligence i'm in applied and the, it was it was just limited to people in applied so we do more of like the practical stuff and in the real sense of this we still do like courses together so it's just like a little difference but for the scholarship of course it is different so there's like little or no difference i think they do more of the theoretical but they do more of the statistics and you know but we do more of the programming so just make sure that what each other university you're applying to you are checking out the eligibility criteria just make sure that you are checking the eligibility criteria of whichever university you are applying to that has the ofs scholarship just make sure for every student there's ten thousand pounds like i said make sure you tick the boxes of the eligibility criteria and you're good to go so i'm just going to be listing the names of this university if you don't catch it now trust me it's going to be in the description box so all you need to do is just go back to the description box and check out all of these details the list of these universities that have OFS scholarship are Teesside University, my university, Aston University, Birmingham City University, Brunei University, Conventry University, Lacanster University, Loughborough University, Newcastle University, Nottingham Trent University, Queen Mary Uni of London, Sheffield Alam University, Solent University, University of Birmingham, University of Bradford, University of Bath, University of Exeter, University of Exeter, University of Hull, University of Kiel, University of Liverpool, University of Suffolk, University of Sunderland, University of Sussex, University of West Bristol, University of England, and University of Wolverhampton. And you know, just check out, even if I did not list it, just check out if you're going to be studying data science and artificial intelligence. Just check out if your school is eligible for this from OFS scholarship. I don't want to have to say this too much, but I have to repeat it again. If you miss out any of these universities, just go back to the description box and check it out. And if you are interested in studying data science or artificial intelligence, this is a great opportunity for you. There are also many other scholarships, and I'm looking to do that later in the future, you know, to just check out scholarships for people, um, you know, collate it and bring it on here for you so as to make it easier. So I think this is pretty much all of it. If you have any questions as regards this scholarship, there's something I didn't mention. Just drop it down for me in the comment section below and I'll be there to answer you. Once again, please subscribe if you are yet to like this video, drop a comment, share this video to your friends, you know, anyone that you know that it should be helpful for. Don't let them miss out. Don't let them miss out. I'm going to see you in my next video. Until then, bye.